Europe will be going back to Mars in 2020. ESA has two satellites in orbit around the Red Planet, Mars Express and the Trace Gas Orbiter. And now ministers from ESA member states have agreed to continue funding the next stage of the ExoMars program, which will include a robotic rover. Due to land on Mars in 2021, the rover will be the first mission to drill beneath the surface to look for signs of life. Support for ExoMars is part of a 10.3 billion euro program of space activities agreed by science ministers in Lucerne, covering all aspects of space, from exploring the universe and Earth observation to satellite communications and applications on the ground. The ESA Council meeting at ministerial level was opened by the Swiss president, Johann Schneider Ammann. Guten Morgen, meine sehr verehrten Damen und Herren. was the first for the new ESA Director General. The beauty of ESA is that we have the diverse member states with diverse interests. So, and our proposals are covering all the different interests and therefore overall we got this big uh, contribution. As well as agreeing funding, delegates at the ministerial meeting adopted a resolution supporting the Director General's vision for Space 4.0 towards a united space in Europe, with ESA committing to inform, innovate, interact and inspire. So it's about digitalization, new technologies, new participation models, all of this, and this everything is linked to Space 4.0. A few days before the meeting, Ariane 5 completed its 75th successful launch in a row to put four Galileo satellites into orbit. Ministers agreed to continue securing Europe's access to space with new launches, while also supporting Space Rider, a new re-entry vehicle. They also supported Galileo and research to develop new applications for satellite navigation. While ministers and officials negotiated in Lucerne, one ESA employee, Thomas Pesquet, was 400 kilometres above the Earth on the International Space Station. Investment in human spaceflight inspires the next generation of scientists and engineers, advances science, technology and medicine, and will ultimately take humans to the Moon, Mars and beyond. Ministers have agreed to continue supporting the space station programme until 2024, bringing Europe in line with its international partners. The two-day ministerial meeting always involves negotiation, and some projects, such as AIM, the Asteroid Impact Mission, did not achieve full support. ESA will continue to evaluate the technical possibilities of this mission, which involves changing the flight path of a tiny asteroid moon. Overall, the hosts were pleased with the outcome. It's always a bit complicated in ESA to take decision, but then the system is solid, as, as is um, resilient in the sense that the commitment of, of the countries on the different member states are there and that allows the executive to make a clear implementation for the following years. With funding agreed, we can expect more exciting years for Europe in space, with benefits for everyone on Earth.